everyone, today we are going to discuss the first chapter in Form 2 entitled Biodiversity. What is biodiversity? Biodiversity means the diverse of organism, kepelbagaian organisma, which is consists of microorganism, animals or plants. This biodiversity is caused by the diversity of the habitat and the climate, which is these different organisms have different characteristics which help them or enable them to survive in their respective habitat. Habitat is a place where the organism live and the biodiversity can be found in various types of habitat such as the forest, pond, desert, seas, river, hills and many much more. So, what are the importance of biodiversity? The first importance of the biodiversity is the act as the sources of the medicine and herbs. The second importance of the diversity is which is consists of the sources of genetic diversity, which means the diversity within a species based on the variation in the genes of each organism, animal or plants. is the sources of raw materials. Timber, bamboo and rattan are examples of the forest products which are used to make musical instruments, furniture and to build building. Besides that, Biodiversity also important in balancing in nature, which is it will control the cycle of nutrient, pollination, and the interaction between the organism create balance in nature. As example, you can see for maintaining the water cycle and also for maintaining the fresh air cycle. Next one is the sources of food which is the animals and plants supply food to humans. Areas that are rich in biodiversity also can be developed as the recreational places such as Tamanagara. The last but not least is the education, which is the education will help the human to increase their knowledge by creating new technologies by scientific research on the microorganisms, animals and plants. So what is the effective biodiversity management? As human, we cannot deny our needs to use the natural products or we get uh, a substance we get from the, our environment. But uh, we have to control uh, human activity to preserve our biodiversity from extinct. Extinct maksudnya pupus uh, tiada lagi dekat muka bumi ini Meanwhile, preserve itu adalah untuk pelihara eh. We prevent it from uh, extinct eh. Kita halang dia daripada jadi pupus Conserve pula adalah pulihara Sesuatu yang dah rosak and then, Ataupun yang dah tiada Kita nak ada nak wujudkan balik Contohnya dengan pos, uh, program replanting of trees kan? Okay, So methods of biodiversity of conservation set the dual which is consists of the in situ and ex situ conservation in situ conservation means which is of uh, the species uh, will be preserved their at their own habitat uh, such as the permanent forest reserve yeah, hutan kekal simpan kekal uh, dan juga marine parks meanwhile for the ex situ conservation ini adalah uh, cara di mana how how we preserve the species is by we preserve their the species outside from their natural habitat, such as zoos and botanical gardens. What is endemic species? Endemic species, which is the species that only live in the cluster within restricted area or only exist in one geographic region. Here are the ways to preserve and conserve biodiversity. The first one, by banning the killing or trading the endemic and endangered animals and plants. Second one, by protecting the habitat through the creating national park and forest reserve. 
The third one is undertaking the reproductive program such as seedling, nurseries and also in the turtle hatcheries and the fourth one by re recycled material such as use recycled paper to reduce the deforestation. Let's we continue with the second subtopic, which is 1.2, the classifications of organism. We're going to discuss the classifications of animals. Animals were divided into two groups, which is the first one is vertebrate and second one is invertebrate. Vertebrate, uh, which is have a backbone, meanwhile invertebrate does not have backbones. Take a look at the uh, classifications of animal, which is consists of the vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrate, which is has the animal have backbone, meanwhile the invertebrate, the animal without backbones. For your information, the invertebrates are largest number of the animal on earth, and basically they are consists of the insect. Now let we discuss the more details of our invertebrates. As we know, invertebrates is animal that without backbones. So some of them can live in water and some of them will uh, live on land. Some vertebrates also have many legs, but then there are some of them without legs. Example as the earthworm, leech, fly, grasshopper, cockroach and snail. Okay, now this uh, flowchart shows the invertebrate that divided into two types uh, which is the first one is the with a jointed legs and second one is the without jointed legs and the without jointed legs are uh, divided into segmented body and also non-segmented body and you can read the examples for these uh, types of animal for each uh, category. Let's we discuss about vertebrates. As we discussed before, vertebrates is the animals that have backbones and also skull that protect their brain. And then the vertebrate can be classified into five groups, which is consists of the mammals, bird, fish, reptiles, and amphibian. And the three of them are cold-blooded. The cold-blooded uh, classes consist of fish, reptiles, and amphibian. Meanwhile, for another two groups, which is uh, consists of two warm-blooded, which is the mammals and also birds. Here are some important notes for you to take notes, which is the terms of the poikil term shows the cold-blooded animal. This means the animal have body temperature that changes according to their surroundings temperature. So their body temperature depends on uh, hot or cold outside of their surrounding. Okay, for the second one is the homo term. This is referred to the warm-blooded animals which uh, their body temperature that is constant eh, and free from influence by their surroundings such as uh, this one is for the birds and also for the mammals and second important fact that you have to know is the internal fertilization is about uh, when the male will release their sperm into the female body Meanwhile, the external fertilization, the male and female gametes will be united or fertilized outside of the female's body. Here are the classifications of the animals which consist of the vertebrate, consists of the amphibian, birds, fish, mammals and reptiles. But I have got one tip but then it is in Malay how you want to remember the classifications of animal consists of rimba. Rimba means R for reptiles, I for ikan, M for mammalia, B for burung, and A for amphibia. So I hope this will help you how to uh, memorize uh, the classes of animals that consists of five classes. Let me discuss uh, more details about the uh, classifications of the animals. Okay, the first one is uh, for the fish. It is actually have the characteristic, have the overlapping and slimy scale, have fins, it is cold-blooded, 
and the breathing through the gills have the external fertilization, lay eggs uh, without shells, and also their habitat is in water. So here are the examples of the animals. Okay. Next one, we are going to discuss about the uh, amphibian. Which, uh, this amphibians is actually their body characteristic is covered by more skin. The type of blood is cold blooded, or we also can call it as a poikilothermic, and have two types of breathing organism, which consists of gills and also skin and lungs. Yeah, this use of in the in the water. Meanwhile, skins and lungs used on land. The type of fertilization is external fertilization. Method of reproduction this is the laying of eggs. Yeah? So without have shells covered by the jelly in water, the habitat is water and land. Okay, this is the example. This is the frog, toads and salamander. Next, we are going to discuss about the class of vertebrate which consists of reptiles their body characteristic covered with a dry skin which is the way to help them from losing too much water and then the types of blood is cold blooded breathing organism is lung and the type of fertilization is internal fertilization the egg are fertilized inside the female's body method of reproduction is the lay egg and the egg have shells the habitat is the water and land Now let me discuss the class of vertebrate that consists of bird, the characteristic of body, which is the bird have covered with feathers. Feathers see must be bulu pelepah. Okay, and then have beak, have a pair of wings, and then have pairs of legs are covered with the dry scales and also have streamlined body. The type of blood is a warm blooded. And then breathing organism is uh, lungs, have uh, internal fertilization. And the method of reproduction is by giving eggs, right? Uh, so uh, the habitat is on land. Okay, the example is such uh, as example as sparrow, swan, chicken, and also pigeon. Now we are going to discuss about the class of vertebrate, which is consists of mammals. The characteristic of body is covered by a fur or hair. Have a pair of external ears, have sweat gland, and have memory glands. The type of blood is warm blooded. The breathing organism is lung and have the internal fertilization. Methods of fertilization is or methods of the reproduction is by giving birth to the young and have a memory glands to feed uh, milk to the young. And habitat is so on some water and also in on land. Yeah. So the example is lion, deer, elephant, and with. Okay, here are the unusual characteristics or special characteristics of some mammals. Okay, all of these are mammals but then have a special characteristic. As example, bat has a wings and can fly like a bird. Whale and dolphin live in water like fish and turtles lay eggs have dry scales on their bodies like reptiles. Platypus lay eggs and have beaks like ducks. And porcupine have body is covered with spines for their protection. So here are the summary levels of the vertebrate that consists of five classes: animals, uh, consists of mammals, reptiles, fish, birds, and amphibian. As you can see here, the five uh, classes of animals have a different type of birth and then have a different skin or body covering. Breathing types of organs, body temperature, and also their habitat. With that, thank you very much. I hope that uh, you can do your own revision and have uh, your own notes to help you better understanding in this subtopic. So with that, thank you very much and see you again.